What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. The last few episodes now, we've kind of had a heavier focus on the Pigman, specifically us gambling our life savings away with him. And today's episode really isn't going to be much different. The very first place we're going to go today is actually believe it or not the pig man's house and uh, the reason that we're doing that first is just so we can kill some time um, but secondly is hopefully we'll make a little bit more money you know that's always the goal every time we head out there uh 133.55 done dealy thank you so much quavo appreciate it brother thank you for your business cooperation of course so we're gonna put all those chips and the pack of smokes up in the cab of the poop truck here We'll get it turned over, wait for all the buzzing nonsense to stop, and then we can head on out to, um, not the Pigman's, actually. I, I kind of lied already. Our first stop is not going to be Pigman's, rather the waste treatment facility, so we can grab the Satsuma. Then we'll make our way out to his place. It kind of sounded like there might be a storm brewing off in the distance somewhere. But we're going to grab all of our chips and our pack of smokes since we are heading out to Pigman's place. He doesn't exactly have any good food sources for us out there. Um, also, if we start to run low on smokes due to him making us stressed after losing all of our money, we're probably going to want some more of those. But uh, we'll get strapped in here. We'll head on out that way. <laughs> You know, I wasn't really paying attention to our stats, apart from, like, our thirst and our hunger. Um, it kind of looks like we're really, really dirty. Let's try to grab just one bag of chips out of the shopping bag. Does that not work anymore? Can we just not do it inside the Satsuma, maybe? Okay, there it is. But it's the smokes. I didn't want the smokes. Not yet, at least. We'll need them eventually, so it's not a huge deal. Actually, can we pick them up now? Even though we still... No, because we still have some in our inventory, technically. But we'll eat those chips. Just sort of leave those on the uh, driver's seat there. Grab a drink from as well. And then I think I'm going to do a little skinny dipping over here on Pigman's dock. Since we are so incredibly dirty. Probably not the brightest idea to do some skinny dipping while there's, you know, a, a lightning thunder and lightning storm happening off in the distance. Hopefully it doesn't move too much closer to Pigman's. I was kind of thinking it would be over Pigman's house, but it's it's actually kind of over ours, to tell you the truth. Dude, I really hope Pigman doesn't just clean us out today. Uh, we're up to 17.5 right now. I'd really, really like to get up to 20,000. Now that we have a nice and shiny hiney, um, there's one more thing I need to check out over here. A lot of you have been asking me to save outside of Pigman's place, but we're not actually able to do that until we win his house and or car over there in the shed. But I know for sure you need to at least win his house. So right now, if we were to come over here and try to save in the little uh, outhouse, nothing, nothing works. Nothing pops up. Let's check in with our good pal, the Pigman. And hopefully, like I said, he doesn't completely wipe us out. I just need a little bit more money. What's our max bet? 15 honey? Let's do it, dude. That is horrible. That is really good, what he has. All right, cool. Well, there is no shot. Actually, maybe. Maybe. Oh. Wait, what? Do we keep going now? That's the thing. I wasn't planning on spending a, a bunch of time here. As I said, this isn't like the main idea for the episode today. Maybe we'll go down to like a thousand or let's do let's do 500. Let's do 500 marks Feeling a bit more comfortable at uh, at that dollar amount 16 we'll hit again and we bust That's okay. That's okay. We'll do another $500 or 500 mark bet and uh, we'll see what happens this time around We've got a 12 What does he have over there a two? All right an 18 we'll stand at an 18 got to get a drink too. Oh, no Wait, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. He's probably going to go over. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Okay, we made our 500 back. We're up to 19,000 buckaroonies. Let's do another 500 mark bets. 
Again, feeling a little bit more comfortable at that dollar amount than a thousand. A ten? An eleven? Eighteen. Okay. That, that's a lot of cards, dude. That is a lot of cards. Let's see what Pig Boy has. Okay, I think we've done it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, 19.5, you guys. 19.5. Moments later. He knows. He knows. Look at him. He knows. He's about He's about to just take all of our life savings. <laughs> this has gone very poorly. This has gone very, very poorly. Let's do a 15, 1500 mark bet. Worst case, we can just leave and come back, right? We haven't really done all that much today yet. Hopefully, he doesn't do any better than a 19. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. He's just going to keep going. He doesn't care how many cards he has out. Okay, he's gone over. He's going to keep going? Okay, now he's gone over. Really, dude? Okay, this time for sure, he's over. There it is. All right, so we're back up to 19. Um, let's do 500 mark bets again. 19, standing. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's always bad when you both pop out a face card right out the gates. Okay, we're fine. Uh. We're fine. We've done it. Okay, 19.5. Part of me wants to walk, dude, but part of me is like, I really need to see uh, 20,000 buckaroonies up there. How about a 250 mark bet? I uh. should have... I should have gone higher. I should have gone higher. Now we're at 19.8. More moments later. It's over, you guys. It's over. There's no coming back from this. We've just got to exit and uh, and come back. We'll see what happens with this hand, I suppose. Yeah, twenty eight hundred dollars, you guys, or twenty eight hundred marks. There's there's no shot. That that's it. Well, we're back to where we started this episode out at when the poop truck was still at Quavos, the Satsuma was still at the waste treatment facility. We still need to go inside, grab our chips, our pack of smokes. Skinny dip outside of Pigman's, uh, eat the chips, grab a drink, urinate, the whole nine. So I'm going to do all of that again, and then we'll resume, assuming we're able to win a little bit more from the pig boy. All right, we're up to 19,763 buckaroonies. I'm going to go ahead and bet just a nice 250, and hopefully we win and we can just be on our way. Wouldn't that be fantastic? We'll stand at an 18. Come on, pig boy. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do any better than an 18, dude. I will freaking lose it. I just want to go crawl in the backseat of the Satsuma and go to sleep because our fatigue is getting real, real high again. There's no way. There's no way. He, he's over. He's over. Oh. 20,000 big ones, dude. Thank you so much, pig man. Thank you for playing... Uh, we'll be back eventually to uh, win your house and also your car. We could steal the car too, but I think winning it would be um, a little bit more enjoyable. But like I said, we're going to crawl into the back seat here and uh, fall asleep. We'll see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> I was really hoping we'd wake up in time to uh, make it into Quavo so we could check to see if he had our post order today. But unfortunately, it seems like it's still a little bit too early. But lucky for us, we kind of need to save anyways. So that'll kind of fast forward time, I think by like, two hours or something like that. So it'll all work out just fine. Quavo, hey, buddy. Oh, but you still, you still don't have our post order, dude. You're joking. Hey, at least you restocked everything else, though. That's kind of nice. So we don't need any more yeast. Let's grab all the sugar he has. And you know what? Let's let's grab some more juice containers. I don't think we can ever have too many of those hanging around. He's already restocked all the chips. Um, since we just bought a whole bunch of them, I don't think we really need any more. What about sausages? Probably a good idea to just restock on those while we're here. Let's just get let's get both rows. That's that's cool. Uh, what are you talking about, dude? Honestly. Crocodile. 
<laughs> so, like, can I buy my stuff now and just get gone? All right, cool. Good visiting with you, I guess. So, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we actually do have to head home. Oh, we have two bags in there now. That's not going to get confusing. Um, but I'm kind of thinking we will actually have to head home for him to call us. I think that's actually the first time I've ever driven in the rain in this game before, which is kind of cool. It looked better than I thought it would. Now that we've made it home, though, I think what I'm going to do just to kill the time is just head on inside and put away all of our groceries. On second thought, our Kilyu doesn't seem to be making any noise anymore, so that means it's done. I'm thinking we bottle all this stuff up and uh, we do another delivery, dude. I, I'm not opposed to making some more money today. I stand corrected. We're still gonna have to put all of our groceries away if we wanna start our next heal you batch anyways. The storm is definitely cutting the power out. Oh, dude, it's blowing fuses left and right. Okay, that's, that's really not good. That's really, really not good. How many fuses do we have? Is this a five pack or is it just one? I don't know if I want to replace them now or if we should wait until the storm's like fully passed. Let's let's just wait until the storm's like completely passed. But at least we have some backup fuses to uh to chuck in there. Anywho, enough talking. I've got to get all these groceries put away. Of course. Of course the water shut off. Okay, it's either it's either due to us not paying a water bill or it's either because of one of these fuses is blown. Let's try let's try this top one. We'll see if that did it. No. Okay, that's okay. We've got a few more fuses to try. This time for sure. There it is. Okay, I, I thought I remembered this happening once before and it being uh, whatever bottom right fuse I think it was. Let me go just make sure for future reference. Yeah, this one right here. Whatever, whatever this says in Finnish must be like water pump or something along those lines. But anyways, we're good. We're good to go. Now we can get this one filled up, get the cap put on and go make this delivery. Hey, buddy, good to see ya. Here's the first one. Go ahead, give that a swig. Let me know what you think of it. Hopefully all is well. Hopefully we get some big, big money for this. Actually, we're only down 197. So it's not terrible. Very good, Sugar Wine. He loves it, of course. All right, buddy, let me finish loading up your table here, and we'll get out of your hair. All righty, buddy, that's the last of it. Should be about 3,400 marks. Thank you for the business. Appreciate it. All right, now it's back to the uh, junkyard for bottle collection, bottle redemption, and then back home once again. <laughs> I decided to come back to Quavos yet again. Mainly, or wait, 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 what side is our gas cap on? The other side, right? Okay, let's get it turned around. Uh, mainly because we need fuel, but also I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he's gonna have our post order. I highly doubt it, but we might as well try, right? That was the main idea, or was supposed to be the main idea of today's episode entirely. And um, he's being stingy. He's he's definitely holding out on me. 
I wish it was just as simple as being able to walk up and uh, and it just being here. Oh, it is here. It's a good thing we've been grinding so hard today, dude. 12,000. This is for four new wheels or four new rims. They still need tires, so more money later on, but we'll worry about that uh, when it, you know, comes up. Okay, he's also about to close the store. But anyways, uh, four new rims and then also all new rally suspension. That's 12 thousand dollars that's gonna put us down to eleven thousand but now at least we'll be able to have a thumbnail for today otherwise it would have been the exact same episode as like the past three now at this point but let's get uh let's get these opened up dude these rims are dope um i'm pretty sure they have zero offsets so i'm hoping i'm hoping that they'll fit nicely in the in the wheel wells of the satsuma but then this one dude this is where it gets crazy. I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Wait, wait, wait. Quavo, don't close. Don't close. Don't close. Please don't close. I totally forgot that I need fuel. So we'll grab this nozzle right here. Fill it up. And then we'll be good to go back home. Quavo, you absolute legend. Thank you for staying open just so I could refuel. Really, really means a lot. So we've already got the rims loaded up in the trunk with all those empty bottles now all we need is the uh, rally suspension and then we'll finally be able to make our way back home <laughs> made it back home safe and sound yet again this time though with all of our fancy new rally parts so next episode will of course be installing those all on the satsuma or hopefully a good majority of them at the very least but for now i think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today so once again if you guys did enjoy please leave a like leave a comment help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys peace